hi viewers and students as the part of discussion in the chapter sets let us discuss a new concept in the sets that is venn diagram children do you know venn diagrams venn diagrams are usually used to represent the relation between two or more sets logically representing the sets by using venn diagrams improves our logical thinking and representation by venn diagrams makes us to understand the relation between the sets easily and this representation is more attractive and make us to understand very easily children let us go to the history about the venn diagrams venn diagrams are first used by leonard euler in 1700s after that these venn diagrams are more popularized by john venn a famous english logician john venn popularized the venn diagrams to represent the relation between the sets and the name of john venn these diagrams are called as venn diagrams sometimes these diagrams are also called as venn euler diagrams on the names of john venn and leonard euler when we represent universal sets in the form of venn diagrams we use rectangles we understand this by an example let us take a universal set mu is equal a b c d e f g h these are the elements of the universal set let us see the diagrammatic representation of this universal set in the form of venn diagram first to be draw a rectangle as shown on the screen on the right top corner of the rectangle we use the symbol of the universal set mu and we write all the elements of the universal set a b c d e f g h in the rectangle part this is the representation of the universal set in the form of venn diagram we represent a set by venn diagram we draw a circle and write the elements of the set in the area of circle let us understand this by an example let us take the same universal set mu is equal a b c d e f g h as its elements and let us take another set a which is derived from this universal set set a consists of the elements a is equal a b c these are the elements of the set a and also these are the elements of the universal set let us try to understand this representation by venn diagram you can see the same thing on the screen whatever the venn diagram you draw first let us draw universal set by representing a rectangle let us see on the screen first we draw rectangle and the right top corner of the rectangle we use the symbol of the universal set mu and we draw a circle to represent set a as set a is derived from universal set we are writing here the set by circle and the elements of the set a r a b c as we discussed earlier these three elements a b c can be written in the circle part a b c and the name of this set can be written on the top of the circle with the set name as a and we write capital a on the top of the circle now the what are the remaining elements d e f g h these elements belongs to the universal set but does not belongs to set a children can you guess where we write these element d e e f g h in the venn diagram 
these elements can be written in the rectangle excluded part of circle excluded part of circle means the region in the between rectangle and the circle as shown on the screen we write d g f g h elements in the rectangle part this is the representation of a set by using a venn diagram let us understand venn diagrams concept by taking one more example let us take universal set mu consist of the elements a b c d e f g h these are the elements of the universal set let us take set a which is derived from this universal set set a consist of the elements a b c d e these are the elements of set a and let us take one more set the name of the set is b let us write the elements of the set b as small a small b small c these are the elements of set b children you can observe the sets mu set a and set b what did you observe very good all these two sets a and b are the subset of the universal set as these two are derived from the universal set and one more thing you have observed here is set b is also subset of set a why let us say all the elements of set b are in set a here set a is the bigger set and set b is the part of set a this you have to understand here set b is the part of set a as b is the subset of a let us represent the same thing by using venn diagram whatever the venn diagram we draw first we write a rectangle let us see children on the screen we draw a rectangle and right top corner of the rectangle symbol of the universal set mu can be written here bigger set is a to represent bigger set a we draw a bigger circle in the rectangle and the name of the set is a so we write capital a on the top of this circle as we discussed set to b is in set a as all the elements of set b are in a so we take one more circle which can be drawn in circle a as b is the subset of a in other words the set b consisted in set a so we draw a smaller circle b in set a circle and we write the name of the set on the top of this circle the set name is b let us now try to write the elements in this venn diagram children first we write the elements of set b what are the elements of uh, set b very good a b c where we write these elements where we write these elements these elements are in b in set a and also in the universal set so we write these elements in the smaller circle the name of the smaller circle is b and the name of set is b we write a b c shown on the screen now what are the elements of set a set a has more elements than set b set b has the elements a b c but set a has more elements the elements of the set a are a b c d e these are the elements of uh, set a when we observe d comma e are more elements in set a comparatively b so where we write these d and e elements already when we see on the screen a b c are 
द एलिमेंट्स दीज एलिमेंट्स आर ऑल्सो इन सेटी एंड टू मोर एलिमेंट्स डी कामा ई आर मिस्ड हियर वेर वी राइट दीज डी एंड ई एलिमेंट्स दीज टू एलिमेंट्स बिलोंग्स टू सेट ए बट डज नॉट बिलोंग्स टू सेट बी सो दीज टू एलिमेंट्स कैन बी रिटर्न इन सेट ए एक्सक्लूडिंग पार्ट ऑफ सेट बी सो इन बिटवीन सेट ए सर्किल एंड सेट बी सर्किल वी राइट द एलिमेंट्स डी एंड ई एज शोन ऑन द स्क्रीन नाउ दिस पार्ट इज कंप्लीटेड वेन वी right the elements of the universal set all the elements of the universal set here are a b c d e f g h where we write three more elements f g h these f g h elements are not in set a not in set b but these are in the universal set so as we discussed earlier these elements are in universal set not in a and not in set to b so we write uh, these three elements in the excluding part uh, of this rectangle set a and set b the excluding part in between rectangle and uh, the circle a we write these elements as shown on the screen we write f g h this is the representation of uh, sets uh, by using the venn diagram children let us understand the concept of venn diagrams here normally without uh, writing the elements how to write uh, how to draw a subset b by using venn diagram now we try to draw a subset b by using venn diagram see children whatever the venn diagram we draw first we write rectangle that is universal set because all the sets are derived from this mother set universal set as we discussed earlier let us draw rectangle as shown on the screen and right top corner of the rectangle we use the symbol of the universal set mu here we are drawing a subset b venn diagram that means all the elements of set a are in b set b may have more elements here set b may be the bigger set than the set a so when we draw this venn diagram we should represent the bigger set by bigger circle smaller set by smaller circle here when we represent the subsets here all the elements of a are in b so b is the bigger set first to be draw bigger set b by a circle and we write the name of the set on the top of the circle the name of the set is b a subset means all the elements of a are in b that means set a is totally in set b so we draw set a circle in set b we draw circle smaller circle in circle b and name of uh, this set is a so we write a on the top of uh, this smaller circle this is the representation of uh, a subset b by using a venn diagram now let us take one more case to represent venn diagram sometimes two sets may have common elements how can we represent this by using a venn diagram let us take one example to understand this uh, concept let us take set a which consist of the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 these are the elements of set a and let us take one more set b which consist of the elements 3 4 7 
eight, nine. These are the elements of set B. Children, what did you observe from these two sets? Very good. Here are three and four are the common elements in set A and set to B. Here A is not subset to B. B is not subset to A. So how can we draw Venn diagram to represent this concept? As usual, whatever the Venn diagram, first we draw rectangle to represent the universes set, and the right top part of the rectangle we write the symbol of the universal set. Now here are two sets, set A and set B. Here. 3 comma 4 are the common elements in set A and set B. To represent this type of sets, we write two circles overlaps with one another. We draw two circles overlapping with one another as shown on the screen. Here the left side circle is the set A and the right side circle is the set B. These two circles are overlapped with one another. When these two circles are overlapped, one common area you can see on the screen. Okay, now let us try to write the elements in this Venn diagram. First, when we write the elements in this Venn diagram, we should observe the common elements. Children, what are the common elements here? 3 and 4. 3 and 4 are the elements in set A and set B. You can see on the screen what is the common part to the set A and set B. You can see on the screen the highlighted part on the screen is the common part to set A and set to B. So, in this common part, we write the elements 3 and 4. You can see on the screen. Now, let us see. We write the elements of set A now. What are the elements of set A children? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can see on the screen already 3 comma 4 elements of set A are shown in the Venn diagram. So what are the remaining elements in the set A? 1, 2, 5, 6. These 4 elements are the remaining elements. Where we write these are the elements of set A but these are not common elements. So we write these elements in the excluded part of common part to the set A and set B and we write these elements 1, 2 and 5, 6 as shown on the screen and now let us write the elements of set B in the Venn diagram. What are the elements of set B children? 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. Already 3, 4 elements are in the set B and those 3, 4 elements are written in the common part of the sets. So, what are the remaining elements of set to B? 7, 8, 9. These are the remaining elements of set B. Already 3, 4 elements you can see in set B. Now, however we write these 7, 8, 9 elements? In the part which belongs to only set B does not belong to the common part set A and set B. So we write 7, 8, 9 elements as shown on the screen. This is the representation of uh, Venn diagrams when common elements uh, in two sets are occurred. After that we see one more example. Sometimes two sets may not have common elements, may not uh, two sets uh, be subset to one another. Let us understand by taking an example, let us take set A. 
set A is equal to, consist of elements A, B, C. These are the elements of set A. And let us take one more set to B. Set B consists of the elements D, E, F. These are the elements of set to B. What did you observe here, children? These two sets have no common elements. These two sets are not subset to one another. How to represent uh, this uh, by using Venn diagram? Whatever the Venn diagram, we draw a rectangle as shown on the screen and the name of the universal set mu can be written on the right top corner of the rectangle. And here set A is uh, drawn by a circle and set B is also drawn by a circle. These two circles are independent because these two sets have no common elements. So we write set A and set B in the Venn diagram as shown on the screen. Here set A one circle and name of the set A can be written on the circle. Here set B another circle name of the set can be written on the top of the circle. Now we write the elements of set A in circle A and we write the elements of set B in circle B as shown on the screen. A, B, C can be written in set A. D, E, F can be written in set to B. Children, these are the different types of Venn diagrams you can see in this class.